Welcome to another week of Simply Bitcoin, the channel that breaks down all the daily Bitcoin news from Twitter, the daily fail, meme review, software releases, the websites by plebs. We've got it all. Drop us a like and subscribe. All right, here we go. Let's kick it off with the numbers. All right, we are currently sitting at a block height of 666,664. Price, 36,395. Chain rewrite days, 575. Total lightning capacity, 1,036.15. Bit of a slip there. And uh, Bitcoin versus gold market cap, 5.67%. We are not backing down. Not backing down. Good consolidation. We're two blocks away from Bitcoin's devil number six 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 six. I don't know if you guys noticed that. And like by a the way, twister man, what the hell? I know it was like six six. six and by the way, this is the new Satoshi, the Bitcoin chicken. He oh, upgraded. He's got up? swim trunks. He's in a he's in a wife beater, and he looks like Elvis. This is Satoshi, but you're not going to hear him cluck today because he only clucks when the price of Bitcoin is at an all time high. That being said, Phil, it's time for the daily fail. Okay. Um, so anyways, this, uh, this tweet comes from HODL or not, right? Um, this is about CSW. And for the people that weren't here back in 2019, essentially what happened was um, not that this has anything to do with it. It just has to do with the timeline. But back in January, um, or maybe even slightly earlier, HODL or not uh, had started the, the Lightning Trust chain, just like that. Uh, it was just having fun on Lightning. Anyways, it grew really big. It got a massive audience uh, around Twitter. And um, and one thing that HODL and not did is uh, obviously, you know, like uh, dump on scam projects, you know, just like we do. And one of those scam projects was, you know, BSV. And for whatever reason, um, this, you know, less, you know, this psychotic individual decided to, you know, take notice of him uh, over, over many other individuals that were also doing the exact same thing. And that's not to say that what he was, you know, like it's, it's not to validate or anything like that. But of course, I agree with him because I think you know, CSW is a huge scammer. And I think Calvin is also a scammer, but that's, that's my opinion. Anyways. So this thread essentially is about CSW and his pursuit of HODL or not. And our daily fail for the day is CSW for, you know, still pursuing this ridiculousness. I mean, anybody who takes a look through these threads, another person to follow who follows this case is uh, Arthur Van Pelt at My Legacy Kit, if you want to get the whole entire lowdown of what happened. But I mean, this is really scary stuff. I mean, you know, he has paid, you know, people don't realize, you know, uh, uh, Calvin and Craig have paid, uh, you know, people to find out, have, you know, put up bounties to find out like where Hoddle and Not lives, where he hangs out. You know, like information about him. I mean, this is this is completely psychotic. You know, don't get me wrong, but if your project was legit and you had nothing to hide, why would you get so afraid of one person and one voice? Um, that's the you know the first thing. Uh, but the second thing also, it kind of makes me think maybe this was their way of kind of putting a damper on the lightning noise because lightning was having a lot of noise and a lot of people noticing it. And then all of a sudden this jackass steps in and pulls this move. So it kind of makes you think, you know, anyways, it, look, it, it, and you're absolutely right. And I think that um, Craig Wright is man, look, what type of Bitcoiner sues another Bitcoin for what they have to say. Right. You know what? On he's Twitter. not a big, he's not exactly on Twitter. You know, he's, not a, he's not a Bitcoin Bitcoiner. And I, I just want to say two things, Phil. First, Craig Wright is definitely a fraud and he's absolutely <laughs> not Satoshi. Okay. That's number one. Number two, uh, we are all hot or not, right? All Bitcoiners, you know, we all stand by hot or not. We, we, you know, we, we, we stand by him and we're there to help him no matter what. And uh, man, what he what he did what he did to to what he did to the space cat was absolutely unforgivable. You know, it just it, what else is there to say, Phil? Yeah, he's, exactly. He's a terrible, terrible person. This Craig ultra Wright. fail in the memory hole. Exactly, exactly. And he's still pursuing him, but it's going to hopefully end soon, and hopefully Hoddle and Ott can get back to his normal life of not dealing with this lunatic. You know what he is? <laughs> Craig Wright's a chicken. Yep. <laughs> anyways, anyways, Phil, it's time for it. the daily meme review. All right, everybody, uh, we are doing two picture memes today. We want to change it up a little bit. Guys, if you have any memes, give it to us to the review. 
join our Telegram and just post it there. And we promise we will get to it and we will review it. But the first meme is brought to us by raw underscore avocado. Great name. It is a speculative asset by any account. There has to be regulations. Man, I, Phil, I'm loving it. And of course, he's referencing the infamous Christine Lagarde, the convicted money launderer that's now the head of the European Central Bank. And uh, Phil, I think it's a great meme. It's It makes sense to, to what's going on. I'm going to give that an 8.5. What about you? Wow. All right. Um, okay. I'm going to give it a 7.5. Okay, uh, but I don't think it's a it's a bad meme at all. Uh, but I think that some people, for whatever reason, may not catch the Cruella Deville reference. Um, like you, pretty much have to see the tweet he's retweeting to understand the meme. So that's the only reason I took away points. I, I know Raw's going to give me shit for this, but that, <laughs> that was it's the only reason I took away points, man. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, look, I, I yeah. completely looked over that. I completely, I'm like, that, that, man, I understand it. It's because we all Bitcoiners. We well, I mean, we get it. I get it right away, but you know. No, I know, I know, I know, I know. So, we, have to pre- we have to pretend like we're not us, you know? Exactly, exactly. That's true. That's true. I, I think I got carried away. I would have given it a worse score. Anyways, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, uh, maybe I'm not kidding. You'll never know. Uh, anyways, the, <laughs> the next meme is brought to us by the legendary RDBTC. He is one of the two simply Bitcoin meme lords. And check this out. Pre-corners with Bitcoin was at 3,000. <laughs> Dude, okay. Pretty good meme. Shout out RD. This was a very strong meme. Man, I kind of want to downgrade the last score, but I already can't. So I'm going to have to give it a higher score. Phil, I'm going to give that an 8.7. What about you? Oh, man. See, look, now I've overextended. I gave him a 9.5. Okay. okay. So so why why the uh, why the 8.7? Man, it made me laugh. It was great. It was easy to understand, right? Everybody could understand it. So uh, that's why it was. it deserved a very solid score. What about you? Okay. So SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> who doesn't know him exactly right? like that right there that's incredibly relatable it doesn't make a difference whether you understand bitcoin or not okay uh the other the other thing is that that got me to give that score is because it it so reflects the the truth of of the market psychology it is i swear at 3400 i couldn't give this shit away okay i i kid you not i i talk to people at work and, and, and they'd be like, so you're into Bitcoin. And I'd be like, yeah, you know, and I'd start talking to them about it. Oh, you know, and it was like 3,700. They're like, it's too risky. I'm sitting there trying to figure out where I'm going to get more money to buy more of it because it's so cheap. And they're like, I don't know. That's really risky. Wasn't it like 14,000 bucks, you know, or something like that? I'm like, are you kidding me? And, and like, don't get me wrong, but this person, they never bought into it. And they're totally having fun staying poor right now as we speak. Yeah, it- Dude, you're absolutely right. Uh, man, that was so much more in depth than my review. I think I just Sorry. review. I don't, no, 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 no. You're absolutely right. I just review out of emotion. I'm like, does it make me laugh? Does it make me feel good? Here's the score. <laughs> but, this one I took to heart. You know? Man, RD, that is that is a deserving score of a meme lord. That is an improvement from last time. Okay, you've kind yeah. of redeemed yourself just a little bit. Um, <laughs> Phil, it's time for it. The Daily News, sponsored by... Crypto cloaks. All right, everybody. Our news for today is brought to us by Anthony Scaramucci. He 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 uh, obviously runs uh, Skybridge. I think it's it, they manage money. It's, it's a hedge fund. They've recently bought a crap ton of Bitcoin. I'm gonna pop up the amount, but uh, man, just let's read his tweet. It says we Skybridge or at or Skybridge are also focused exclusively on Bitcoin and feel it. It will be the big winner. Most institutions we talk have a similar view. Uh, Phil, what are your thoughts on this? And um, so I, I, I heard some some talk on Clubhouse as well. And that's essentially what they're telling me, right? Um, institutions are only interested in Bitcoin. For me, it's obvious as to why it is the, the most secure and robust change chain. Why would you store your value, your wealth, your energy in a less secure chain, right? That That is less immutable than Bitcoin. Right. It makes perfect sense to me. Um, what are your thoughts on this? All right. Just quickly about uh, about Clubhouse, uh, that that place has 
you just recognize how terrible the information is out there about Bitcoin. Um, the the reasoning that people come to to you know to buy shit coins and stuff like that. Okay, anyways, um, why is this important? If you go through that, you know what? We're going to back up. Forget about why is this important. Go through that thread and look at all the fails. All right. There's all these people trying to figure out why their shit coin isn't on that list. Um, <laughs> why they're not getting bought. But look, at the end of the day, this is the only one that really does what it's supposed to do. All of the others are just imitations. They simply exist because Bitcoin exists. Nobody, no, nobody is going to store their value in something that a company controls. Nobody's going to store, excuse me, immutable value, right? Censorship resistant value that way. Okay. Absolutely. If you want to go do that, go and buy, go buy fucking stocks. Okay. And there you go. And, and then you can be exposed to the same garbage, but have a chance to make something back because of the company's earnings. Right. But when you're dealing with shit coins that all you're buying is a token, they owe you absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. And in most cases, if you did, if you um, dive deep enough, you'll see that their tech doesn't require the token to perform the function that they're claiming the token is doing. They can easily just perform the function and simply accept Bitcoin. But anyways, that is the, one of the main reasons I think that these large companies are looking at this because they can see the truth, right? They can see the writing on the wall. They can see that Bitcoin is the real deal. And the rest of this is a giant casino. Amen. Amen. You're preaching the gospel, the, the, the Bitcoin. Feeling it today. today. <laughs> Feeling it. So the next piece of news, Phil, is Goldman Sachs to enter crypto market soon. When they say crypto, we just talked about it. They really mean Bitcoin, but, you know, they have to put crypto because they yeah. have to get the clicks. You know, Yahoo Finance and you know, the, circle jerk the bankers. The headline for today, oh, Phil, is former Canadian prime minister names Bitcoin as possible reserve currency. And we are going to check out the 47 second clip. And finally, Bitcoin very much in the news now back up pushing against $40,000. Is it a bubble or not? I'm not going to predict its uh, fluctuations over the next uh, six months, but I think some institution like it. Uh, is uh, here to stay. I, I don't think that the whole thing is going to uh, collapse. I think that having run up and then run way down and then moved, moved back, it looks much more resilient. And therefore, I think uh, people are going to move towards it. And as people move towards it, given the finiteness of its supply, that's going to be a factor working to, to raise prices. And so finally, look, Bitcoin. man, like it kind of speaks for itself. Um, I'm going to correct what I was reporting recently. Look, it looks like two yeah. ministers, a Canadian prime minister and a former treasury oh. secretary, both confirm that they feel like Bitcoin is here to stay. And if you look at how the markets are reacting to this, right, Anthony Scaramucci, MicroStrategy, and now Goldman Sachs, which is one of the biggest money management banks there is, right? are all signaling with their money, right? That they feel the same way as these guys. They wouldn't be buying into something. You wouldn't see these public companies pouring hundreds of millions of dollars into Bitcoin if they didn't feel it had longevity, right? So, but the fact, I think it's significant that the fact that the, a former US treasury goes on live TV and he says, listen, this thing isn't going anywhere, right? And if you contrast that with, how they felt about it, you know, five years ago where they were calling it, it's for drugs, it's for all this BS. It's a right, it's, it's developed so quickly, right? And, uh, you know, it, it, I've been saying this for so many weeks, Phil, all the stars, all the planets are lining up for Bitcoin. You know, it's, there's, it would be, it would be to your detriment not to have some in your portfolio at the moment. What are your thoughts on this, Phil? Okay. So I have to admit, um, I don't know if Larry Summers is just difficult to listen to, but at first I was completely confused by what he was saying. And I thought that he was shit talking Bitcoin. So I was like, what? but then I finally caught on to what he was saying and I understood. So, wow, it was really interesting to hear him like kind of, you know, do a, a, you know, a turnabout face on that. Uh, because as you said, you know, they, they, they've been rough on Bitcoin, throwing everything they possibly can at it, but it won't stick because Bitcoin 
doesn't care and just turns out another block. Um, the prime minister, the ex prime minister of Canada, Stephen Harper. Um, I don't know if I read the whole story uh, accurately, but it looks like he's part of a committee that is essentially tasked with, um, you know, uh, essentially bringing cryptocurrencies, you know, into more everyday life in, into Canada. Um, but he was uh, he was the leader of the Conservative Party. And let me tell you something. If they've got him on that board. Um, yeah, that, that's because it's happening. Most likely. <laughs> that's so, awesome. Like, I mean, like, I'm sorry, but like he's what he's one of those politicians that's, you know, like, the, you know, they're all hooked up. But like he's like kind of like one of those top of the lines. So <laughs> that's not gonna, he's not going to waste his time. That's so it's going to be interesting, but that's just my opinion. <laughs> it's incredibly bullish, you know, and, and look, <laughs> and, and we even made a mistake, right? Or I made a mistake. I apologize. We made a mistake at Simply Bitcoin, right? Is look, I, I, I said, look, it was it was a Canadian prime. It was a is ex uh, Canadian prime minister. And then I thought that that video was him talking, yeah. but in reality, it was a U.S. Treasury. That's how bullish the news is right now. I couldn't believe it. I was like, no way. These two guys, it must be the same guy. But no, it was two separate, uh, two separate ex-politicians that have achieved very high levels in their career. And they're both saying the same. Bitcoin isn't going anywhere, right? So, uh, Phil, there was the software release. And you guys are going to understand why I say this. There was the software release. Why don't you tell everybody about it? Software releases. Yep, we definitely have a huge software release today. It looks like Bitcoin Core version 0 0.21.0 .0 was released and the details to that are in the show notes down below. Awesome, thank you, Phil. That is like the software release of the software release. This is why we're here. The one. <laughs> the one. It's the one. Um, so yeah, man. Uh, so exciting so many good news today was a bullish day on news look how excited i am we got satoshi he's back he looks like satoshi the bitcoin chicken elvis and uh guys if you like the show hit that like button if you guys love the show subscribe and of course we'll see you tomorrow for another episode of simply bitcoin